What's up, guys? It's Marf. It is August 11, 2018. Uh, first off, I want to correct a couple things. The other day, I used an Express article which said that uh, it originally did say that China fired six warning shots in the form of mortars at a U.S. Navy plane. They then corrected that to six verbal warnings. Now, I don't know if that's a uh, conspiracy or they're just changing it, but I did correct it in the description. Now, I saw the same pattern happen today. Um, Express listed an article saying super volcano found uh, this, all this stuff. So I decided to go and dig a little bit deeper for, from the original article. But the original article says that this is as crazy as it um, sounds. So what it is, is it's another super volcano that they thought was dormant. And now they are finding that it is not so dormant. This is a super volcano um, about 140 times. Actually, no, I'm sorry. This is about a thousand times bigger than, say, Mount St. Helens, which blew up in 1980. Whereas the amount of magma that was in Mount St. Helens was about 0.29 cubic meters. Uh, this one has 140 uh, cubic meters. So a lot more magma. Uh, and then it says that over a thousand cubic kilometers of semi-molten magma is still alive and well underneath this California super volcano. So obviously, you know, super volcanoes like Yellowstone, uh, we talk about all the time, but this one is technically still alive. What gives me concerned is we're already worried about Cascadia. That's the biggest worry. Then we have the fact that scientists like Chris Goldfinger um, in my interview said that technically they can trigger earthquakes and they can trigger uh, volcanic activity such as Yellowstone. Now, as far as this, this may be dormant, but say the Cascadia and the San Andreas go at the same time, which Chris Goldfinger did say is possible, this thing could blow up. So, you know, if you're into apocalyptic theories, man, that would be wild. But I definitely thought this was interesting. I didn't want to uh, use the Express article again, because again, like you guys said, they do exaggerate. And I want to make sure that everything is as accurate as possible on my channel. And I appreciate your feedback. I appreciate the people that said, you know, hey, they, they didn't fire actual shots. But to my dismay... They did say that they fired mortar shots at the U.S. Navy. Now, I don't know if that was express um, exaggerating or they changed the story. Most likely, it was the prior. So, I appreciate all of you guys. Um, I will be keeping my eye on this. Uh, there's new studies going on right now, and they are actually going to try to see um, how likely this thing is to blow. So, thank you guys. Be safe, be prepared, and Marf out.